cards are so pervasive throughout the educational system, let me spend just a few minutes on them. I have no problem with rewards as incentives. I mean, grades are an incentive. But let me share with you something that an elementary principal shared with me. My name is George Orpha, and I am the guy from South Dakota who told you the story of the boy and the $5 his father gave him for each A grade. You asked that I relate the story to you. Here it is. I had a father of the fifth grader who gave his son $5 for each A on his report card. The first marking period, the child received eight A's and $40 from his father. The second marking period ended in January, and report cards went home at the beginning of February. The father was quite upset since his son had dropped only one A, two Bs, and the rest Cs. In the conference with his father, I suggested we call his son in and see what the problem was. The boy came into my office, sat down, and we began to talk. My first question was, how come your grade set slipped so much this marking period? And the boy quickly responded, I didn't need the money. The father just slumped down in his chair. But let's assume that there is a contest and the reward is a cruise and you get deathly seasick. Chances are you're not going to participate in that contest because you're not interested in the reward. Rewards can be great incentives if you're interested in the incentive in the reward. So understand that, please. I just do not use rewards for kids to do what I expect them to do. 